Hey guys, it's Joe from Architect Sports. Uh, I thought we would do a series, um, mainly because I didn't feel like putting my shoes on today, um, about fitness from the ground up and actually taking a look at how the feet play a role in pretty much the rest of our body during a, during a lift. Um, we'll probably look at some deadlifts and some squats with and without barbells. Um, look at my feet, we'll look at Devin's feet and we'll try to see how feet toes influence movement as we work up the, the uh, kinetic chain. Um, so what I thought we'd look at is a proper foot stance, okay? So when we're standing, our big toe, our pinky toe, and our heel, those are our essential tripods. And everybody's foot is a different shape. Some people have skinny feet. Some people's big toes cross midline. Some people can really spread their big toe. I broke my big toe before, so my right big toe doesn't really spread out. My left big toe does, which would definitely have an influence. I get some right knee pain sometimes. So, um, and maybe we'll see as we squat why I may have some right knee pain. Uh, Dev, we'll look at Dev's toe. Dev has a gigantic big toe, uh, which is going to serve as a great balance point. So I like to say in that big toe, that's going to be your medial balance point, okay? And that's gonna hold up this arch here, okay? By holding it with that big toe. Your pinky toe is gonna help support the outside of your foot. So if your big toe is preventing your arch from rolling in, your pinky toe is preventing your arch from rolling out. So if we can actually grip and spread, and then our heel is gonna keep everything still on the back. So we have a tripod. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to see, we'll just squat from the front and then we'll squat from the back and we'll see just the different foot postures. Obviously, you can see Devin's foot's wider than mine and his toes are way bigger than mine. But my foot is longer than his and skinnier. So that's going to have some influence in terms of base of support. Um, I may have to be pushing out somewhere else to try to find balance. Okay, so we're going to look at how the foot is influenced, influencing the squat. Okay, and then we're gonna see how the ankle influence influences the squat. So let's just go into some easy like 90 degree squats. Okay, and we'll see what happens. Our feet kind of screw into the ground. Okay, so that's what we're gonna focus on. Big toe spread, pinky toe spread. Arches are neutral now. Not neutral arch, we see our ankles drop in. A supinated foot or resting on the outside of your ankles, our big toe is off. And I said, the big toe is important, so we wanna be able to ground that big toe to maintain that arch position, okay? So let's ground that big toe, spread that pinky toe, we'll get into a squat, and we're gonna keep going. Now, I'm gonna see where I lose my foot position, and I feel my feet are starting to turn out here, and I feel my big toe coming up. So I feel I'm putting a lot of pressure through my heels, and we're taught sometimes, put the weight through your heels. But we're losing our calves, a huge triple extension force producer, when we squat. So our calves help with lifting our heels off the ground. So when we are squatting and we get to the bottom of our squat, our calves actually help push through the ground for us to come back up. So if our weight is only through our heels, we're losing our entire calf muscle to help us back up. So we're losing force. So having enough ankle flexibility and awareness to have some weight through your toes, big toe, pinky toe, heel, to work through that tripod. As we get to the bottom of that squat, now I'm a little bit more balanced. I can sit deeper into that squat. I don't feel like I'm losing the balance as much. And then I can push through the floor through my feet so I have something to push through and not just through my heels.